Hello, one and all, and welcome to the very first episode of our brand new show, The DVD Shelf Top Spots, a countdown show where we feel cinema should be celebrated, not incinerated. I'm your host, Andy Snyder, and today's episode is all about a popular and often used contraption in the film world, revenge. So, how about the top ten revenge scenes? Wait, no, that's... that's too broad of a subject. Okay, okay, how about this? The top ten revenge scenes in a modern foreign film. There, that's doable. The revenge concept is one that entire movies are based upon. A certain character is wronged in some form or fashion, and out of anger, spite, or a sense of justice, they seek out to rectify the matter, typically utilizing brutal violence or spectacular wit. Now, if a film has done its job, then these types of scenes are enjoyable or give us that tingly feeling all over, leaving us with memorable moments that we take away from the film. Now, American cinema has used this tactic frequently, with some of my Hollywood favorites being Taken, Unforgiven, Kill Bill, Rambo, John Wick, Faster, and The Crow. Now, most of the mentioned films have a plot that is entirely based around revenge, but what I'm looking at today is not just revenge movies, but specific scenes that display the revenge rampages wonderfully. Scenes that, at least within the context of the film, give us that feeling of satisfaction, glee, shock and awe, or all of the above. With so many films made, and revenge being such a major component in film that it shows up in a majority of movies in some form or fashion, picking only 10 great revenge scenes from all foreign films ever would take me months to research and deliberate. Which is why, at the beginning, I stipulated that this is modern films. So, basically, any movie made from the 90s until 2015, and produced outside the US. Man, top 10 lists are hard. Now be warned, some of these scenes contain spoilers, but I'll do my best to avoid them. And, on that note, there are a couple of films I left off of this list intentionally because I knew there was no way to avoid important spoilers and I felt that they should be watched as spoiler-free as possible the first time through. So, let's get started. Kicking off at number 10, this scene from the 1998 British film Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels shows us why it's not a good idea to piss off Vinnie Jones. While not a truly fleshed out revenge scene, it is nonetheless brutal as loan shark collector Chris repeatedly smashes a man's head in a car door for threatening the life of his son. And it's Jones' anger that really helps sell this moment as a great piece of vengeance, which is especially impressive given that this was his film debut. So, just goes to show how brief a revenge scene can be and still be effective. Coming in at number 9 is the 2008 Thai film Chocolate. Even though this film has a bit of an odd premise and some weird characters and situations, it does give us some fun vengeance. With her best friend kidnapped and her sickly mother threatened by some mobsters, a young autistic girl takes on dozens upon dozens of henchmen in some wonderfully brutal and fun action during the last act of the film, including her use of two scabbards as weapons, a fight against a breakdancing epileptic kid, and some dangerous fighting on the side of a building. While not the most brutal, nor the most emotion-evoking scene, it's a lot of fun watching the young Zen decimate these villains in the name of justice for her mother. Coming in at number 8 is a scene from the 2001 French horror thriller martial arts fantasy historical film Brotherhood of the Wolf. After someone close to him is murdered, protagonist Grégoire de Fronsac ditches his normally calm demeanor and dishes out his own brand of justice on the culprits as he attacks their lodge. And while not a perfect scene, it feels great watching Grégoire smash people into the wall and tear through their ranks with brutal efficiency, leaving many dead in his wake. In at number 7 is the 2012 Korean film A Company Man, a film that puts assassins for hire in the context of an office job. However, when they decide to fire you, there is no pink slip, instead, it's a bullet to the head. Or, at least that's what they tried with Hyung Do, one of their top assassins and a man trying to retire from the business. When his employers decide to fire him, he isn't so easy to kill. And now, with his life in shambles and those close to him in danger, he decides to strike back, taking on his former office full of killers in an all-out gun battle. What's not to love about a 1 vs 30 shootout? In at number 6 is Ong Bak. Released in 2003, this Thai film took the martial arts movie world by storm. 
With impressive brutality and touting Tony Jaw's ability, this film was something to behold. In the final act of the film, protagonist Ting seeks to not only recover a stolen Buddha's head, but to also dish out punishment to the wheelchair-bound villain and all of his henchmen for the theft and ensuing betrayals and attempted murder against Ting and his companions. Most notable is Ting's instant and brutal retribution against the thug that breaks Ting's friend's arm. But it is Buddha himself who gets the last laugh when Karma decides to crush the main villa in a glorious fashion. At number 5 is the 1992 New Zealand cult horror comedy, Brain Dead, released in America as Dead Alive. Before Peter Jackson had Legolas slaughtering orcs, he had Lionel slaughtering zombies. Shy, weak, and mild-mannered, Lionel is thrust into a zombie outbreak. Your brother usually does the deliveries. And with his house overrun and his love interest in danger, Lionel takes matters into his own hands, and in one of the most memorable scenes in any zombie movie ever, he unleashes a massive bloodbath as he finds a new use for the lawnmower. Finally, finding his spine and taking revenge against the zombie horde. Number four on the list is from the 2009 Swedish thriller, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. In the film, we follow punk hacker Lisbeth, a woman spit out by the system and placed with a sexist, misogynistic, and exploitative parole officer, who proceeds to rape her upon threat of sending her back to jail if she does not give in. One thing a great revenge scene does is first set up a character so dislikable that we practically celebrate their comeuppance. And the writing combined with their performances make this scene a fantastic example of that. Fed up with this treatment, she exacts a fitting revenge complete with blackmail, sodomy, and a forced tattoo on his chest. This shows that not all revenge scenes need extreme violence to make them good. Number three on the list is the 2003 Korean film Old Boy, which is a revenge movie through and through. The whole plot, on both sides of the coin, is based on revenge. And as much as I would like to put the finale on the list, it is way too spoiler filled, and this is a movie you need to watch as spoiler free as possible. Really, this movie as a whole should be on the list, but for a specific non spoilered scene, it's all about the hammer. After being abducted and imprisoned for 15 years, Daesu is released and goes about finding out why he was imprisoned. When he finds out where he was held, he goes there for answers. Using a hammer, he tortures the man running this unofficial prison, and then makes his way through the henchmen, giving us a great moment in revenge scene history. In at number two is a scene from the 2008 Hong Kong film Eat Man. After the Japanese invade China, they take the Foshan region as their own and use the area's renowned martial arts community to help train their troops to be better fighters. The most highly skilled martial artist in the area is Eatmon, who just keeps his head down trying to earn a living to feed his family. However, after one of his friends and unofficial students goes missing after attending one of these Japanese training sessions, Eatmon decides to check it out for himself. Upon witnessing a fellow martial arts master being murdered during the training, he realizes the same fate fell upon his missing friend. And the normally calm and non-confrontational Eatmon stops holding back his punches and volunteers to take on 10 of the Japanese martial arts practitioners. What follows is one of the best, most brutal, and well choreographed revenge scenes I have ever seen in a martial arts movie. Bones are broken and bodies are pummeled with the unrelenting anger of Eatmon, showing us all just how much he had truly been holding back this whole time. And coming in at number one for my pick of the best revenge scene in a foreign movie is the 2010 Korean film, I Saw the Devil. Before I continue, this one is very spoiler heavy as it is the end of the film, and there's just no way around it. But this revenge scene is too good to leave off the list. Having killed the pregnant wife of police detective Kim, serial killer Kyung Chul becomes the target for revenge. Sprinkled throughout the movie are scenes where Detective Kim exacts revenge a little piece at a time. However, the best scene is the finale in which the detective chains up the serial killer to a vicious contraption that will yank out his tongue and then decapitate him. However, that's not all. This device is attached to a door. 
and the detective has tracked down the serial killer's parents and son and invites them to the location, tricking them into opening the door that rips out his tongue and then severs his head, rolling it to their feet as the door opens. What a fitting way to kill a man that ruined your life. Well, that will do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the list, and be sure to keep an eye out for more in the future. And with a constantly changing cinema landscape and the tides of my opinion in perpetual flux, this is not meant as an end-all be-all list, but rather a good idea of some of the best revenge scenes in modern foreign films. These are my opinions for the best revenge scenes for now, but ask me again tomorrow and I might give you a slightly different list. So, for today, these are the top spots.